Hey guys, what's up? So today you're going to find out what's in my this tackle bag. This is the CLT Wild River Tackle Tech Nomad. Uh, I love this backpack so much, it's awesome. Let's get into what I have. So here, clipped on the side, I have this Fish Ohio towel. Just clipped on there just to wipe my hands off and stuff. Um, we, this is more here. We get into... Uh, where should we go? Right here comes with a, I have a pliers holder with my um, pliers. So, um, and then over here I have my scale. It is a fuel stream pistol grip electronic scale. Goes up to 50 pounds. It's an awesome scale. Um, right here, I have this. This is a uh, thermocell mosquito repellent, like electric bug repellent thing. You put a butane cartridge in it, and this like weird blue pad thing, and uh, keeps bugs away. Um, right here, I have my lip clips on a little carabiner. Moving on, up here we have a sunglasses case, but I don't put sunglasses in it. You got a nice handle. Um, moving into this top compartment. Um, the orange in this clear part up here. Uh, I have an extra battery for my scale and the double die chest that came from my box that I recently got. So I'm going to put this on the floor while I get the stuff that I have in here out. So, um, well, I have an extra pair of socks in case I get wet or something. Uh, Huh. One glove. I just, just uh, a collapsible ruler. A fish identification book. Pretty messy. Uh, dividers for boxes. This, this is to hold pliers, but I don't use it. Uh, I got a half a pack of hand warmers, a full pack of hand warmers, some used hand warmers I got to get rid of, okay. put them back in because I don't want to splitter. Um, I usually put like water in here. Um, these are extra pads for the mosquito repellent thing. And then, also to go along with the mosquito repellent thing, I have extra butane cartridges. And as you can see, this is a pretty deep pocket. Ow. Yikes. I'll measure it with the ruler, I guess. It is 10 inches deep. That's about... Yeah, it's like the length of my forearm. So let's put this stuff back in. Actually, get those out of here. Don't know what the one glove was from. Probably had two in there at one point. I'm going to leave this open just to, for a later demonstration of something else that we'll get into later. On the back here, we've got some nice pads, blah, blah, blah. As you can see here, if you zip, here is a zipper. If we unzip that, we got, I kind of call this like my rain pouch here because inside we have these 
water resistant pants if it starts raining. And then there's a rain fly that uh, covers the whole bag in there. So I want to pull that out right now. Um, moving on. Here there is this workstation that you can work on lures with, but I normally just uh, put my phone and portable charger in here. Also some earbuds. But another cool feature is this flips up. It's a light, turns on, shines down on the workstation. Yeah, workstation or on the ground. There's a there's a low, a high, and a green. And what's cool about this bag is that you can flip it inside. Then it lights up. Well, you can't really tell because of all the light, but it lights up the insides. I found that really helpful as it's dark out. Uh, moving on to the side pocket, this rubberized mesh. I keep a Fish Ohio tape measure. Just says Fish Ohio Sport Fish Restoration, blah blah blah. There's a little button on the back. Anyway, keep that in there. And then in this pouch, I have some Rapala scissors. And a knife, which I actually got at an arcade in Myrtle Beach for 600 tickets. Um, yeah. So that's what's in this pocket. If I can get this back in there. Uh, on the other side, uh, I'll turn that around. I have the I have one weird swim bait thing. Hooks. Uh, the Carl Von Debel Carolina kit or Carl's stash. This came in the mystery tackle box last month. Um, it's just a kind of eh, eh, <laughs> a Carolina rig kit. And then, but not least, we have this weird bath stopper worm thing, which was made in Haiti. Yeah, I haven't used this. It's Anna scent. But yeah, actually, I haven't used any of these except the. Uh, one, one bait, which I then lost. If we put all of this back in here, we can get on with the rest of the bag. Mind you, it is winter here, so haven't been doing a lot of fishing recently. There, there we go. Now moving on to this side pouch. This is where I have my towel clip to. This is where I keep all the soft plastics that. I don't have in the original packages. As you can see, here there are these gussets sewn in, so stuff isn't falling out, but I have these weird stick bait things, uh, some ribbon tail worms, some tubes, some more ribbon tails, and then I have this little box if I want to catch like a little bluegill or panfish of some sort. It just has, um, Okay, good, it didn't open. It just has some grubs and some little hooks. For some reason I have some little spinners in here. Don't know why I have those, but I don't have like any jig heads or anything in here. Come on. Get in there. Why did I take those out? Okay, this is starting to get annoying. Okay. Put these back in here. We can get on to the next pocket. Over here is another pocket. This is where I keep all the soft plastics I do have in the original packaging. So we have yum ding five inch yum dingers, watermelon red flake. 5 inch yum dingers, watermelon pearl laminated, 5 inch yum dingers, smoke pearl laminated, uh, strike king shimmy stick, 
five inch key lime pie, strike five king strike yeah five inch straight king shimmy stick red. Wow, I can't talk today. Red shad. Um. Oh, this is open. This is actually a 20 pack of Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver 4.20 uh, Creature Baits. This is the watermelon color. Oh no, not 20 count, 10 count. Sorry. Uh, this is the uh, Reaction Innovations Sweet Beaver Creature Bait uh, California 420. I got these off of Tackle Warehouse and somebody underlined 420. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but anyway. Next up, we got the Catch Company Pro Series. These are like little creature baits, dove color. And they are. A uh, culprit, seven and a half or seven point five inch, uh, like ribbon tail worms, red shad. Culprit, seven point five inch, um, ribbon tail worms, either black shad, and then smart baits, uh, color changing flukes. These are kind of cool, like bloody kind of color. So that's all my soft plastics that are in there original packaging so while I'm putting these back um I'm just gonna say this is my first video on this channel hopefully you guys are, are liking it so far uh, if you do like it please like the video and maybe subscribe Woo. Anyway, as we get on with this, put this back, and get into the main compartments. <laughs> Lots of plastics in there. Now, onto the main compartment. This bag comes with four 3700 size uh, tackle boxes, sorry about that, um, has this strap to keep it from falling out, and in the first box here, we have my like, crank baits and jerk baits, and then like two, three giant um, uh, swim baits, just because I had nowhere else to put them. We have the Rapala Shadow Wrap Shad 09 Slow Riling. That's the one that's on top right there. And then we have the Rapala Shadow Wrap 11 Slow Sinking. That's the one right here. And we have. Sorry if I can't name everything. Next up we have the Berkeley Cutter 90. Uh, this is shallow diving, blah, blah, blah. Uh, suspended. Has some rattle. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can. Yeah, I just hooked myself. This is the... I can't remember the color. Table Rock. Lake color. And then this is a Lucky Craft USA uh, pointer. Don't remember anything else about it. This is a six cent, sixth cents, sixth cents, um, flat, uh, square bill, square bill. Gosh, I really can't talk today. Um, crank bait. This is a bloody, bloody shad lipless flat crank bait. 
I'm sorry if I called any of uh, these crankbaits. I meant jerkbaits. I don't know if I did that. Hopefully I didn't. This is the KVD um, square bill crankbait shallow diving. What is this? This is it's rattleless. Um, I can't remember the color. It was something like blue char. I can't remember. This is the KVD shallow diving no rattle um, shallow diving square bill. Uh, sexy shad, I think maybe. Don't know what this is. Um, big square bill just came in the last month's at uh, last month's NTB box. Um, just a square bill with rattles. Oh, I hooked myself. And then this is actually one of my favorite crankbaits. It's another KVD uh, rattleless uh, shallow diving square bill. It's like gold sexy shad or something but I can see my reflection in it. I kinda like that. It's just kinda cool. Uh then I have this weird swim bait. This giant weird swim bait and this giant weird swim bait. I got these when I was like five, not knowing what I was doing. Maybe eight. And I'm hooked again. Moving on from this box. We have my spinner and buzzbait box. Yeah. I'm not going to take all these out because they're really hard to put back in. But anyway, I have two spinner baits here. There's one under this one, but you can't really see it. I have two white spinner baits, another white spinner bait, a golden spinner bait, a black spinner bait. Um, a black buzz bait, a white buzz bait. These both have clackers on them. I think that's what they're called. And then a one dollar Walmart buzz bait. Woo! So that's all for my spinner and buzz bait box. These all fell, but whatever. Why isn't it shutting? Oh. Doo -doo. There we go. Moving on to our next box. This is my top water box. Yay! I love top water. And in here, I have one regular walking frog, and then another one. This is a junior small one. I love popping frogs, so I have a lot of popping frogs. So I have one popping frog, two popping frog. Three popping frog, four popping frog, yeah, four popping frogs. I had more, but I lost a lot of them, unfortunately. I have this little frog, and then I have this little frog. Moving on, I don't have a lot of top water baits other than frogs. I kind of want to get more, but they're expensive, man. Like the baits I really want to get, I want to get um a Whopper Plopper and a Pompadour, a Pompadour Junior. I really want a Pompadour. I have this. This is a Torpedo Head and Torpedo. Pretty cool. All the hooks on it are kind of janky. And then this is a hard body top water frog with rattles. We have a jitterbug and a hard body popper. And that's my top water box. Yay! Oh boy. Woo! And everything fell. Yeah, if you see me keep looking onto the left, I have a monitor right there. But the way everything's positioned in this room, I couldn't have it behind the camera, but it ever. Plus it not, at least this is kind of my miscellaneous box with a sticky sticker. Hook brand if you didn't know. And then we have some four out uh, four aught worm hooks. 
Tamagotsu. And then we have some three uh, three odd arm hooks. These are half of these are Gamagatsu and half are uh, stickies. And in here we have some. Ow, I'm hooking myself pretty bad here. Some spinning worm hooks. These are. I don't know what kind these are. These are a mess. Well. And we have some. I don't know how much these weigh. Some pull up. What the heck? Some bullet weights. Some. Smaller bullet weights. Can't see that. Some smaller bullet weights. Some even bigger bullet weights. Some red and white beads. And now moving on. This is basically stuff I don't have a lot of and don't really care about. I got this little sp jig with a spinner. Uh, this came in the last month's MTB box. It came with a paddle tail trailer and an extra one. Yeah, it's the same size. And then a chatterbait with this little trailer. And then it came with an extra trailer. It's the same except it just has a, a little curly tail on it. Um... Spinners. This more of that. And then I have this giant spinner thing. Uh, I have this really old spinner bait. It's not even straight. I just have it because I do. And then something I don't do like at all is uh, using jigs. I don't use jigs at all. I have one jig and it's pretty rusted. The hook is. But the hook's still sharp, it's just it's rusted. Uh, yeah, so it's that. And that's all my boxes. And about all my tackle. This is normally what I bring with me fishing. I mean, what's up here kind of changes sometimes, but it's mainly all I have for the most part. Um. Hopefully you liked this video. Hopefully I'll be coming with more fishing videos, maybe some other stuff, I don't know. But until then, like, subscribe, and uh, keep fishing. If fishing's awesome. Unfortunately, some people think it's dumb. I don't really know why. Some people don't like fishing in their neighborhood. I don't really understand why, but yeah, have an awesome day.